how many slaps could well, I take? Well, uh-huh. Ladies and gentlemen, bring to the stage Mr. Dana White. Okay, you guys know about slap? So in 2017, I started looking, you know, the slap stuff, I'm sure you've seen it, started popping up on uh, social media. I was fascinated by it. One of the things that really caught me was, first of all, it really works for social media. It's fast, it's shocking, exciting, whatever you want to call it, but it had 350 million views. And it looked like, you know, it was being filmed in a bar or a basement somewhere. And I said, imagine if you really did this the right way and, you know, got it sanctioned by athletic commissions and tried to turn it into a real sport. When I saw this thing, I'm like, yeah. That's a holy <laughs> Yeah. Moment. Th th this is probably going to work. Yeah. I'll give it a shot. I called uh, my old partners that I started the UFC with and I told them, this is what I'm thinking, this is what I want to do. And we invested 10 million bucks in it and I literally closed the deal last night. For two years, $25 million, all the good sh you want to do. Yeah, what, so what do you think slaps work? Right here, right now, it's, it's worth a couple hundred million dollars now. So we got our $10 million back. <laughs> For those of you that know, I'm like four episodes in on TBS, I did a deal with TBS. It absolutely destroyed on social media. Social media for Power Slap didn't exist. Now on TikTok alone in four weeks, we have a billion views. Then last week on Instagram, we were at like 38.5 million views and the list goes on and on. You wanna explain what the media says and then the reality behind the scenes. Yeah, they were talking about how the ratings were tanking. We're four episodes in on, on TBS. The NBA was on at the same time. They were on ESPN and they did 570,000 viewers. We did 317,000. We were number two in men on all all of cable television and what was incredible was we pulled like 64,000 women and I'm taking a lot of heat right now as I usually do it's the same stuff that, that that I went through when we started the UFC it's different people don't aren't used to it and guys slapping each other in the face is slap going to mess up the UFC more people have shit on slap said this thing wouldn't work attacking me in the media you're gonna see a lot of stuff about health and safety there's nobody better in combat sports at health and safety than me we bought the UFC in 2001 2001 to 2000 2023, there's never been a death or serious injury in the UFC. There's been 34 deaths in boxing. These guys are talking about slap. I'm going to do the same exact medical protocol that we do for the UFC for the slap guys. So, how, many, how many slaps could well, I take? Well, how many slaps? Depends on who's slapping you. Well, one of these guys. A half a slap. <laughs> wow. A half a slap. You and me don't want to be getting slapped, I can tell you that right now. All I can slap is my credit card. <laughs> Once these guys said, oh, it's not gonna work, you can't do it, that's the Quack. that fuels me. You know, yeah. these are the type of losers that 100. if you're sitting in there all day, all day, talking about something like that, what I'll do is I'll spend 15, 20, 30, whatever time I gotta go, and I'll fire back at them, right? And what it does is, it, it, it starts to, there's so much activity on the post, the algorithm starts to kick in. Yeah. And your post gets bigger and more people see it. So I go in there and slap these guys around a little bit and they go crazy. While they're trying to hurt you, they end up helping you. Exactly. In many, many ways. Don't block anybody. Embrace it. If you ever become successful, get ready. Because it, it, it's coming. We all make mistakes, right? And we live in this cancel culture right now. You do one little thing wrong, everybody wants to cancel you. You know what you do? You dig in and you wake up every morning and you come out swinging. Nobody determines your fate but you. How important is money? How has it changed you for the good or the bad? Or I mean, to say that money didn't change me would be a ridiculous thing to say, but I am still the same person. I keep my circle of people very small. It's all people that I've known uh, my, my whole life. I look at money as a tool to have fun. Money is what happens when I do things that I really like and that, I, that I'm passionate about and that I care about. Winning is, is, is one of the parts of being successful. You almost have to become obsessed with winning. And I am obsessed with winning, it, there's no doubt about it. I'm not obsessed with money. I'm obsessed with winning and money happens when you win. Ladies and gentlemen, my friend Dana White.